Have you ever wondered what using a shard of a giant meteor would look like? Do you think you could use it effectively on bosses? Will there be any benefits to using the meteoric or greatsword over any other colossal weapon? Why do I keep talking like this? The world may never know. Well, unless you watch the video, that is. Now, like, subscribe, and we'll get into the run, shall we? Let's just go get it. I know for sure it's around here somewhere. But the problem is, I am blind. You stupid. But I just want to get the travel system set up temporarily, so I'm not entirely lost. You love to yap, huh? It might be a while before I actually get around to doing some killing. Hey, okay. Hornsen, do you have anything to speak about? I had forgotten you spoke because I was distracted by trying to get the other Hornsen to talk after she fell asleep. I know there's a way around Castle Ensis here, but I have no idea how I can do it. The unlock mechanism for it is up here, I'm pretty sure. There it is. Okay. Right. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm dead. Hi, Virgin Abductor. Pleasant to see you here. <laughs> now, the problem is, I don't remember this puzzle. Eventually. Meteoric or Greatsword? And now I can play the game. Sometimes the best things just fall from the sky. Plus nine will work. For now. I would like to get to Leta first before I do anything regarding Leta Keep. They really haven't done anything in the way of progress except for get my weapon. Why are you running? Why are you running? See ya. I don't like you, Horn Scent. I didn't know he just disappeared. I just attacked him and he disappeared. I want to know what the fuck happened. Well, what about more? What do you have to say? Talk? Okay, talk to Tiolia again. Okay, so there's that. Let me just continue to go back and forth between these two NPCs until I can figure out what the fuck is happening in these goddamn quest lines. Now if I maybe go talk to Freya again? The horn sends back now! Are you serious? The fuck? And you're back! What is it? Okay, whatever. I'm ignoring this. Alright, fine. I would like this. First fight. I leave Dane. Yeah, that's some damage. Smashy smashy. Thank you. Well, that was close. Yikes. I have another idea. He was a dragon man. He was a dragon man! He was a, a, a dragon! And he was just a dragon! And nothing to it. Up here I go. I'm just gonna run? That's a bad idea. Because I'm definitely gonna get caught by something. Bye! <laughs> ah, that knockback is crazy. It. It makes me wonder if there's literally anything else to do here. Like, is it just this church? Because it seems lackluster, if so. What the fuck was that? In the business, we call that greed. Stupid. Are you fucking serious? Okay. Do I try a boss with no Skadu and see how this goes? Well, if I do try a boss with zero Skadu, it's not going to be a lot. Of. No, this will be a normal challenge run. What would you exactly qualify as normal? Regular? Casual? Oh, I'm not completely useless today. Let's do dog. Oh, wait, fuck. I have the key to the Hornsense room. Wanted to do that before I. Where is your dance break? Okay. That was annoying. I didn't get a stagger. I don't know why. 
Dude, what is up with everyone in this DLC? Every boss in this DLC shoving me up against walls. I just love doing it. There it is. Why can you have done this last time? I don't get it. Oh god, move. I'm just chugging fast for no reason. Oh. Nice. Not bad. I couldn't see shit at the end there, but... Alright, let's uh... We'll do it. Oh, this is the Horn Sense mother. Interesting. I did not know this. This quest is telling me to summon Horn Scent with Mesmer. Time for Rolana. Leda. Interesting. Okay, Rolana. That was a lot of damage. Okay. Fuck. That was much better than I thought for a first attempt, but. Knowing souls, it's not going to be that easy. Ye Ow. I'm fucking sorry? What the fuck happened? Why did I take no damage? Like, at all? Ow. That hurt. I was at like 75% HP, and I just died. Dude, every time... Okay, that's that's a fast stagger. I'll take a backstab, which is not nearly enough damage, but nice. Okay, good. It was like five attempts. Not bad. The rune is broken. About here, right? There it is. And so too has a powerful charm. Yeah, I never thought about that. Nicola's Great Rune is broken here, and because it breaks, the binding of Nicola's charm is just, on all of them, is just gone. So, now, I can actually go back and speak to all of them, and they should have more quest progress for me. So Hornsend wants Nicola dead regardless, and it just seemed that Mesmer is a roadblock on his journey. Right? Remain sad forever. Sad forever. Yes. Sad forever. Sad forever and ever. Hopefully, fingers crossed that the gank fight at the end of the game is not that bad anymore. I'm sorry? I'm sorry? What the fuck is happening? I'm sorry? Dude, I can't see anything here. Dude, fuck me. Fuck this boss, dude. Away from the wall. Away from the wall, please. I spend all my goddamn time running away from the fucking wall. Dude, drink. Oh my god. Dude. This is fucked. Shit. Shit. I'm sorry? What the fuck happened? Fuck you. Ugh, stupid fucking hippopotamus. I still can't get over this. Like, literally. Anyway. No. I will say, this weapon's so fun. It's just like a colossal with a gap closer, which is fucking disgusting. Plus, like, it just looks cool as shit. Like, it's literally a meteor. That just someone just stuck a sword in it and it's like, oh, use it. Now, so I do not forget. I could get hit by literally every attack in the world, right? Oh, you are here. Interesting. Well, now, I don't want Leta getting in my way, huh? I do not want to deal with Freya in the fight. Oh. See you, Freya. I wonder if that has any ramifications if I go back and talk to Ansbach now. Well, considering Freya is now dead, I don't think she's going to be reading the letter. 
All right. I'm going to try Mismer. I need fire resistance. I still have magic resist. Fuck. Jesus, that damage. Yeah, I definitely need fire resist. Oh my god. Dude, oh my god. Oh, I'm just getting rolled. I'm just getting rolled. Ow. Man, the, the attack animations on this thing is starting to show. Day two. Away from the wall. That is brutal. That is brutal. Okay, you are faster. Good to know. Okay, these two. Really? Not bad, I guess. I need to find a way to stop chugging flasks in phase one. Now, I don't know if this is even going to help, but I have a feeling this is going to be something I need to get regardless. Deal with this pseudo crucible knight. Or not. All right, two-handed sword talisman. Let's go. Ugh. That's so stupid. The rolling stab, it, it's really off-putting. When every other greatsword, I'm so used to it being a slash attack. Late. I'm just late all the time. Yeah, I cannot attack during that last last animation, but everything else I can. Here's damage. Is really showing us what we had. Fuck. I did not have a chance to drink. I didn't have a chance to drink there. Maybe if I wasn't so obsessed with getting these like pokey R ones in, I would have been fine. Fucking grabs. Bosses in this DLC, they really love to get me up against walls. And I guess it's on me to try to get them away from walls. So, you might say a skill issue. I, I dodged? What do you mean? No. What do you mean I didn't dodge? Alright, flasks are all gone. <laughs> flasks are all gone in phase one. Sick. Shit. That felt better. I think. I forgot he do he adds an extra attack after that combo. I just need a good attempt. I just need a good attempt. One that's not going to be completely ass as soon as I get in phase two. I just need a relatively okay phase two. Yeah, I needed to drink, but I didn't have a chance to. Because everything was just hectic. At least it was an okay phase one. This is not an okay phase one. It, I tried to interrupt it. I, I tried to interrupt it. I couldn't. Oh my god. I did not know he could immediately come out of that. I needed to keep rolling. I needed to keep rolling. Really? This is really just any attempt, honestly. I'm just staggered. These attempts are just getting fuckier and fuckier. How long does Stone Barb last? 30 seconds. Drink. Crap. Fuck. I got greedy. That, that was all greed. Oh damn it. I went for the jump and it fucked me. I have to remember that not only I'm taking less damage overall, but my stamina recovery speed is reduced because of the heavier armor I'm wearing. Greedy. Drink. Drink. 
Got it. Thank you. I knew I could do it. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Thank you, Lauren Jesus. Problem solved. Just charged R2. Okay, so now if I come back here, do this dumb quest line part. There it is. Infinite poise. I will let Ansbach do the, the final deed. Thank you, Ansbach. Now I'm hoping it's just the three, because I might be able to handle a 3v1. Day three. Rotten Kindred is here. Alright, so more is dead. Good. And before I continue, I mean, I guess I can kill Romina, right? I'll try Romina. Not that it's going to be very hard, but it is one of my favorite bosses in the DLC. It's just a fun fight. I really like it. I just think they're neat. I'm here, Romina. Early. This rot is going to hurt. I'm in a recovery speed. Eh, that's fine. There's your stagger. That's what I was looking for. Phase two. Uh, okay, Romina. Thank you. Okay, cool. Nice. That is like the third time I've second tried Romina. Which fair, I guess, but I don't know. I just that fight is so it, it feels so engaging to me. And it just it's not the hardest boss in the world, but I really love it. Jory is down here, right? I can just drop here, right? Hopefully that gets me within the Jory Stake America range. Yes, it did. All right, cool. That's the skip. Worst boss in the DLC time. There is a lot of bad bosses in this DLC. You want me to name some? Red Bear, Tori, Vale, Radon. It should be fine, though. Okay. I mean, at least you're taking a lot of damage. Ow. 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 Add Gankfest up. Of course. You're so close to dead. Come on. Oh, thank you. At least that boss is dead. Two Scooby Snacks? I think I'm late. Oh, you bitch. Oh, you bitch. I thought they would reset after a time, but I guess not. I think this means I'm getting closer. Wow. I never thought of even going around. Never even considered my mind to go around the wall. For whatever reason. I welcome you, O oh, uninvited guest. But I must warn, as you venture in, heed the words of our great master Amidra. Approach not the madness, lest ye sicken. Yeah. Ow. Ow. I've seen bits of this cutscene. Not the entire thing. That is a gruesome ass cutscene. Full ass sword though. Okay, me drop. Let's see how I do this. Ah. I, I I saw the delay happen in real time. When I saw the delay, I should have just drank. Oh, you just immediately get out of Beggar. Which I guess would make sense. Because your your model seems a little frail. So I wouldn't expect you to be stunned for as long after an attack. Okay. Hell? I'm sorry? What what the wonder if they share poise. Not that it would matter, because I'm pretty sure he's a different encounter beforehand? Well, I don't think the poise would matter. You hurt. You do a lot of damage. Oh! That had longer reach than I thought. Good to know. Dude. 
I have cloth trousers on, and their damage negation versus fire is 7.1. 7, 7 Why does cloth resist fire? Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, fuck. Oh, that's a lot of damage! Ow. That fucking hurt. I even tried dodging. I even tried rolling. Let's, uh, let me not just immediately die to this guy. They might share ways. It'd be interesting to find out that find that out. If they do. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained? He seriously did the are you not entertained thing. Nice. So they maybe don't share points? Really? Blades, can I not dodge that? Yeah, okay. That was not worth it. Charge attack charge R2s are not worth it. This fight is a. Uh, it feels clunky for this for this weapon. Yet. That happened so fast. Yep. So he's he's very fast. And he hits very hard. Which means what exactly? I don't know. You good? I guess? That's what I'll do? Is just uh get good? Dead. Really? Really? Okay. That's progress. At least. Problems are starting to arise that I didn't occur before. Didn't anticipate. Things being clunky. Which I mean, I guess I sort of noticed early on. Not not early on, but previously when I was testing this out, it, it sort of makes fast fights feel like a slog in a in a rain to get through. I say fast like fast paced like Midra and Mesmer. It feels like they're not designed to be dealt with via a loss of weapon. I'm sorry? Yep. I got stuck in an animation. I got stuck in the animation. Oh, I wonder if that is that has a range. I mean, I guess their philosophy in this DLC means there's a lot of things that do have range to it. So it probably does make sense that that would have a range to it. Oh, 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 nice. I did it. Man, that fight is hard. That fight is very difficult. Man, it's a hard fight. That is a clunky fight. It's fun, but clunky, man. I just, I don't know how else to put it. The weapon I chose just did not end up being a very good fit for that fight. Man, that is a, that's a good fight, but not, not really one I want to do again. At least for now. Maybe I'll come around to it. I am just doing this for the braid. I'll come back though. Let's do guys. Yep. That hurt. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Where is your stagger? Ow. These two at least? Yeah, I don't know where. I don't know how to dodge. Okay. Well, he doesn't seem that bad. Dude, I'm literally... Yeah, stamina recovery would be real nice. Oh my god, bro. Hello? Oh my god. This stupid pillar. Telephone pole. I'm sorry? I hate this fight. Thanks, buddy. And then you charge. And then you fucking charge. Just caught in a goddamn charge loop. Fuck you. Yeah. What? What are you fucking doing? Okay. What are you? Why? What? Oh no, please. 
you bitch. Fine, I'll do it again. Because you're not happy with it, guys. I'm, I'm just, okay, okay. What a shitty ass attempt. I need a drink. <sighs> He's a little bitch. I, I don't understand. Why make all of this guy's attacks faster than all of your animation? Oh, you're the goddamn DLC. Oh, you're the goddamn DLC. Are you kidding me? You're kidding me. You're... I refuse to believe it. I refuse to believe that I was just one pixel away from his repost animation. You've got to be kidding me. I needed to heal. I needed to heal. I got greedy. I got greedy. That was me. Almost there. Almost there. Inch by inch. Why are you shoving me up against a fucking wall? You just stopped? I don't understand why you just stopped. Okay, sure. I don't understand why you just stopped right there. But okay, fine, I'll take it. Worst fight in the game, bar none. Second worst fight in the game. Third worst fight in the game. Five Scooby Snacks. Day four. I guess I was on my way to doing better. Dude, are you fucking serious? These have got to be the worst enemies in the game. By far. Worst regular enemies. Oh, okay. You're still here. Even though I just killed your sister. No. Oh, okay. Meter time. We'll finger mommy. Okay. Not bad. That's some good damage. That is not good damage. Ow. Balls. Dead. Oh crap. Nope. Oh no. And edge. Nice. Not bad. Not. Oh god. Okay. Not bad. Okay. Sure. What have you done? Game. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Colossal things. Um, Ymir, you might have a, a colossal problem on your hands. Yeah, right, sure. All right, so with Metter dead, let's try Putrescent Knight. Let's see how this works with the colossal. That's some damn bludge. Some bomb bludge. Ow. Cool. I stagger. That's a lot of damage. That is a lot of damage. Oh god, please heal. God damn it. He's always like spacing me. Hello, attack! He loves spacing me perfectly. Fucking bitch. Fucking putrescent night. Fucking putrescent night. It's probably just a spacing issue. Putrescent Knight has a tendency to enjoy spacing as far as a Colossal goes. It, it's like just barely on the outside of the range of my attacks, which I guess is something I have to accommodate for. Look. Fuck you, Putrescent Knight. Fuck you. You just keep going? What a piece of shit, boss. What a piece of shit, boss. Huh? How did I take damage there? What? Alright, and then you're just gonna you're just gonna keep fucking riding around like an asshole. Maybe that was greed on my part. Maybe it was. One punish should not lead to instant death. 
Even with 14 Scooby Snacks, it just, it just shouldn't happen. What? I refuse to believe. I refuse to acknowledge that. What the fuck are you doing, Putrescent Knight? I hate this boss. He's attacked. Thank you. Fuck this boss, dude. What a fucking joke. B tier boss, right in the list. Sure, you could jump over a lot of his attacks, but none of it feels good. No. There's only one thing left for me to do before heading into the didgeridoo. Well, first things first. Let me go get plus 10. I don't have a somber 10? Are you kidding me? I thought I did. What do you mean I don't have a 10? What do you mean? It doesn't seem like there's anything else, so... I don't know which dragon I have to kill for Egon. I cannot see anything. Oh my god, I couldn't see anything. Not bad first attempt. Okay. Okay, whatever. One frame too early. And that's all it takes, is just one frame too early. Yeah. Well, that's not bad. It didn't feel like there was many opportunities for me to attack, though, so that's something I gotta keep in mind. Maybe it's the weapon attack I'm using that's, like, fucking me up. I'm sorry? What the fuck happened? Just bail things. Okay. Okay. Bruh. Okay. Okay. It's just the camera. Deal with the camera boss and we're fine. Dude, oh my fucking god. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Every time I got up, I just got hit. Every single time. Without fail. How the f- Wait, you wanna run that by me again? Bruh. I didn't know what he was doing. He's always off against the fucking wall. I can't even get up before I'm fucking dead. Just bail things, huh? Just bail things. You're chaining attacks like together and I can't, I don't know. I can't even attack you. I can't even attack you. I can't even heal. Fuck you, bail. And I can't even drink. I can't even drink before you attack. That helped. Okay, that helped. The downside is I have to go there every single time I want one. I do not know how to dodge that. I need to find a way to stop chugging pots in phase one. That's all it is to it. It, it, it hurts, but I know I can do it. Dude. Thanks. Thanks, Bale! Nope. I don't think the damage matters too much. I'll come back to Bale. Just so I have something else to do. We'll save Bale for the end. Do you see me? Huh? Why the fuck? I don't know how the hell that happened, but alright, I'll take it. <laughs> what the fuck? Later, nerd. <laughs> what the hell was that? That was crazy. That was so weird. I just want to ask. Why, Miyazaki? Why you do this? Now, I know it's all three. And our ally, singular. Nice. Oh no. Hey, good. Okay, I need to kill Hornzent a little bit quicker. Not not quicker, but I need to not have drained stamina when when Dane comes. Oh, in other words, I might need more damage. Okay. 
Okay. Orn sent us down. Let us hear. There's Dane's flask. Is that cool? One v one versus me and Lena, which I can manage. But he's just flask too. That's crazy. And that should be it. Yeah. Oh seven, Lena. Fuck you. <sighs> okay. Well, this fight is not nearly as bad when it's just the three. And I have a weapon that can sort of stagger them out of anything they do. So, that fight still sucks. Mainly because it's a PvP fight, but even still. Not a fan. Two bosses remain. And the Ash of War on this thing, pretty fucking good. For PvP especially. Especially because the penultimate fight of the DLC is a fucking PvP fight. Oh, I haven't done Sunflower either. If I can remember how to get the Sunflower, I will do Sunflower too. Three days later. There's only a couple things left. I could go grab a plus 10 real quick. Ankle guards, yay. I do find it pretty cool that you can actually see everything from here. Although not exactly everything, but it's enough that you can get a, a sense of just how big this place is. I want lightning and fire. Because I have a feeling those are going to be more impactful. Just bail things. <sighs> Dude. Just fucking kill me. Just get me out of here. Some of that was luck, some of that was mistakes. I Where are you? I couldn't. Where did you go? Okay, well, it's getting closer. I think. I think. I'll call that progress. Hey, calm. Just any body part. Just hit him. Oh, it's always that last phase. It's always that last, like, 15% where it always gets me. Just bad timing on my end. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay on the fucking ground because fuck you, Bill. What an absolute piece of shit. Fuck you, Bill. Yep, yep. God, what a shit fight. It's like classic fucking Souls thing, right? Where you get 10% three times in a row and then every 100 attempts after that is just complete ass where you're like stuck in fucking phase one all goddamn time. Because Bale doesn't want to goddamn cooperate. By doing literally anything other than this fucking stupid charge attack. Or his sweeps that knock you on your goddamn ass. Or your fire, his fire breath that knocks you on your goddamn ass. Yeah, this is a fun fight. Yeah, this is a great fight. Happens every time. It's fine. Oh my. It's not fine. Fail. I cannot see. What a fucking asshole. When you go straight up like that, after I get knocked down, I just can't see shit. And there's nothing I can do about that. Aside from just don't get hit from the pre previous attack, but I don't even know if he's going to be doing that after that. Really? Really? I don't, I don't want to say it's getting ridiculous, but there's just so many dumb attempts where this camera is more frustrating than the boss. Dude! Okay, so it's it's slightly faster than the, than the, the lightning lunge. Oh my god. Can I, can I move? Dude! No, I cannot. Dude, every fucking time you just go straight up and my camera can't see you. Like, even even if I go straight up, it just doesn't work. Drink here. Fuck. I'm gonna drink again. Yeah, okay, we're fine. We're fine, just live. Just live. Wait, Bail? Scanning Bail. The area. Bail? Can I help you? What are you doing? What are you fucking doing? <laughs> okay, whatever. We are like, we are like so fine. We are like so very fine. It is, it is incredible how fine we are. It is unbelievable how fine we are. Ice. 
I did it. Yes. Oh, that felt good. It felt like learning was taking place. So I'm very happy with that. I am very happy with that bail kill. Oh, man. That was a fight indeed. There's only one thing left. With how annoying this boss can be to attack normally, I don't know how this is going to work with a colossal weapon. I think if anything, now is the time I actually need status effects, but... Alright, it's gonna take me a little bit to get back in the swing of this fight. Yeah. My, my, my animations feel slow for some reason. But I, I just don't know if that's the terrain or... Why? He can just do it immediately. When do I attack? When do I attack? I'm just... I uh, was not expecting that to do damage for some reason. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So I have to wait for the entire combo to be over. It's, it's all because of the fucking light show. Interesting. I gotta wait for the entire combo to be over just so I can hit him once? Not good boss design. Just Radon things, huh? Dude! Dude! What? I disagree. I disagree on these dodges. Not, not rolling through. Every other time I can just run away from that, but this one time I just fucking die? There's no way. There's no way. I refute. I don't. I don't believe it. What a fucking shit fight. I don't know if there is a position you can be in for, to to understand the difference between when he's going to keep going after those attacks or or not. Fuck, dude. You're fucking kidding me, Radon. Eat a dick. You did the exact same move twice in a fucking row. Maybe. Yes. I don't fucking know. I don't know anything about this goddamn fight anymore. Thanks. I just... did not see a damn thing. Cool. Nice terrain. Nice terrain. No, I can do it. it. It feels like it's progressing, however slowly it may seem. Ow. I should have healed. Honestly, I shouldn't have gone for that attack. I should have healed. That felt like a PB for some reason. Dude, I was able to dodge that entire combo previously. I don't understand why I'm not able to this time. I say previously when I mean the Milady attempt. I was able to dodge the entire combo on Milady attempt, and I don't understand why I'm not doing, not able to do it now. Is it just because of the Colossal? And my animations are a little more wonky with the weapon? Yeah. Really? Fuck. I got greedy. That, like, really greedy. Ow. Oh, shit. I didn't realize how low I was after that attack. Fuck, that hurt. <laughs> what a dumbass cross slash attack. What a dumbass cross slash attack. Nice cross slash. Peak game design. I think I'm getting too caught up in trying to charge R2 here. Why? What do you mean I got hit there? Because even though the R1s do less poise damage overall, they are still like R1s from a Colossal. Can I 
dodge at all? I couldn't dodge at all. What the fuck was that? Fucking terrain. Why can't they just make a flat goddamn arena? Why couldn't they just make a flat fucking arena? No, they had to be on top of the goddamn sand castles here. I just don't feel that there's many opportunities for me to attack, but maybe there's, that was just a bad, bad attempt overall. Some of these attempts, they go on okay. Some of them last almost instantaneously. I think it's just a matter of not getting greedy with my charged R2s as I tend to. Also the problem is I know I'm making mistakes as soon as I make them. He's so close to phase two, but I need to be healthy by just... Not like that. No, not like that. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I'm just making mistake after mistake after mistake. Got him a light rolling and mostly jumping R2s. I mean, I can try it again. I should probably figure out what light load is first. 30% of 77. I'm pretty sure I'm just one point away, so I'll get 31 endurance. Light load, 22. Okay, hold on. Ah. Okay. So it's in between 22.8 and 23.4. Fucking math. Miyazaki <laughs> making us do math. Yeah. What? Okay, and, tw and uh, the 23.2 is still light load. That is the threshold I need to be under. 85.14. That's more points of endurance than I thought. You're kidding me. I got... I got... And tap and... Edge of his sword nicked me and it souls 101 roll into them, not away. And I guess souls 102 is don't fully charge an R2. Because it'll, you know. Know your punish windows. That was not a punish window. 1251? Did that give me more damage? Even though it was a swipe? Oh! Oh, I can get that off? Oh, that is crazy. Okay, hold up. I didn't... Okay, that's that's crazy. That's nuts. I can get the attack off a of light load before he does the second front flip. Front flip? Words are hard. Well, that's good to know. I'm... What do you mean? What do you mean I'm getting hit by all this stuff? This is such a... It went so good. It was going so well. And then all of a sudden it just turned to mega shit. Oh no! Ugh. All of a sudden at the very end of that phase one it just went one little mistake and it can just spiral out of control. I'm okay. I didn't realize my health was that low. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I have never seen you do it that fast. <laughs> okay, that was weird. I've never seen you do your gap closer literally when I'm right in front of you and you just instantly go up and you just come back down. I've never seen that happen before. Whew. Bad attempts. Bad attempts after bad attempts. This boss, man. I should go find some more Scooby Snacks or no? I'm at 16. I don't think it's going to be that much of an improvement if I do anything else. Where is more? I don't know where they would possibly be. I don't remember which ones I've gotten. I mean, I could maybe do some like some weird jank side bosses, but other than that, like I've killed all the remember remembrance bosses. That's not true. I haven't killed Sunflower. Sunflower. Bleed. I forgot those thorns bleed. Hello. Now that's a lot of damage. Ow. <laughs> I didn't get- I never got hit by that attack before. <laughs> it's so funny. Thank you. I thought this was just gonna be a two-phase boss. The first time I faced it. When I, when I killed it the second time, it like threw me, threw me off. Like, oh god. I got greedy. I went for the- Third viewer at the end. Now that I'm not facing Radon, I'm gonna put a little bit of armor on. Just so I have something. I guess I'll use my physic. Attack? Thank you. 
What are you doing? What am I doing? Dying. That's what I'm doing. Good. Number three. I don't know. Hello. All right. Bruh. Now, this fight is pretty cool from a conceptual perspective, I'll say. Like, the boss is like fighting with all of its vigor and strength in like the first phase, and then like the second one is getting more erratic and uh, trying just to survive. And then in the, th in the third phase, oh shit! He's just sort of, oh okay. Please, please, just live, just live, please. Fucking blood thorns! This is the problem with using weapons with no status effects. Especially like heavy weapons where you have to be right up in their face. I, I guess I'm not sold on gimmick fights. It's just if the gimmick is easily understandable, like I guess this is technically, but I just wasn't expecting the third, the third phase the first time, you know? Usually when they do this, it's just two phases. Yeah, I guess Sister Freed was the other th three, three phase fight. The only time they've ever, ever done a three-phase fight. Only other time, I should, I should say. Goodbye, everybody. See you. Okay, well, not that I need the Great Rune, but I have it. Just being here and looking at this tree, I don't know, it's very depressing. Desolate. Look, I wanted to go to the base of the tree. This is not the base of the tree. You lied to me, game. Telling me I need to come to the base of the tree when it's just not even existing. I'm not dodging anymore. Hit your buttons. I'm recoiling in real life. I'm getting staggered in real life from this stupid. <laughs> phase two is just phase one with a light show. That's all it is. I just need to remember that. Do I have any consumables? I doubt it. I could go get some prom. That's a... That's a good idea. I got I, I got clipped. Are you serious? What am I supposed to do there? I got clipped right there. And you're telling me that's okay? But I, So that means I have to kill him. Now, please don't eat my fucking... Bell bearing? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Gravity? He's just standing there. Menacingly! PB, I guess. I guess that's a BB. Whatever. Being bagged, yeah. Dude, it's just a, a fucking... It's just a roller coaster every single time. I don't know if it's feeling better, but I think progress is being made. Slowly but surely. Oh my god. What the actual fuck was that? Fuck. You're kidding me, Radon. You're kidding me. There's no way. There's no way I dodged that. I don't believe it. I got greedy. I got so greedy. I should have just healed. I should have just healed. Here, Radon. I have a present for you. It's called In the Face 2 Idiot. Do you like your present? Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking kidding me? You have got to be kidding me. There's no way. There is no way you just did that. I guess Redan didn't like his birthday present, huh? Redaniel dies today. And I'm hoping everything goes alright. <sighs> okay. Not a bad first attempt. Not a bad first attempt. I think I just needed a mental reset. After yesterday, it was a brutal 
Fog. I just need to get this fight ingrained into my brain again. And it should be fine. Nice cross life, buddy. What do you mean I got... Okay. There are more openings, it looks like, but the follow-ups... The follow-ups leave less room to follow up after the attacks, but it seems like there are more follow-up opportunities in between the attacks. It's hard to describe, but I hope that was fairly clear. Fucking terrain, dude. I'm hit here. I drank. I thought. I thought there was an opportunity to drink in between those. I thought there was an opportunity, but I guess not. What? what? Okay. I thought he was. I didn't anticipate him following up with the other attacks. So, does he always do that? It really is just a surviving. And if even the, the Blessed Dew Talisman heals one flask's worth of HP over the course of the fight, I'll consider that a success. Right now, I just need to not get hit. I mean, I can do this all day and regenerate all my health, but at some point, the fight's got to be over, right? And that was not it. it. It probably just depends on several things going into the transition, but I just don't know, understand why he engages with certain attacks after the transition and not always the the T. If I could have just dodged that, that would have been a PB. He's in pr no. I think that lasts longer than six seconds. Dude, oh my god. I just got hit with literally every attack. Literally every fucking attack. Did I get hit there? A little bit. Hey, just wait. PB. That is definitely a PB. That didn't feel like a PB though. That didn't feel good. Very clunky. Just to try to get some attacks in. But I think the combination of the... New Talisman and the Clover Time Physic really helped because there was definitely times where without those I would have been dead. That is a very good PB, and that felt good. That was a good PB, and it felt good. Getting close. What? I, I, why the fuck did you do that? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. I always roll back there, and it just fucks me up every time. I didn't mean to drink there, and it just... Okay, sure. I should've drank. I should've drank. I thought he was closer to a stagger, but I guess... I guess he wasn't. I got hit there? There's no way. Drink. I need a drink. I'm hit. And I'm fine. I'm not fine. I'm not fine! All because I got knocked down. Oh god. I thought the animation was gonna be a little a little bit longer. For the, the stagger, so that was my bad. I will take responsibility for that. Responsibility for that. That was my bad. God damn it. I see how it's gonna be. Radine Yol. Oh, I thought. Okay, I didn't heal. I didn't have a chance to heal. Oh, my bad. It's always stuck at the same position, like 35-ish percent. It's always at that same threshold. It's always after the transition, where I'm able to get like a couple attacks in. Nice cross slash. Nice cross slash, fucker. It always seems 
The crow slash is the only thing that can kill me. At least in phase one. I don't know how I missed that. Oh, shit. He is so very close to his dagger. I'm hit here. Wait, what? All right, okay. I don't know how I dodged that. I have no idea how I dodged that. That's fine, that's fine. Fuck you, Radon. Fuck you, Radon. Fuck you, Radon. Oh my god. That fight blows. God, what a fucked up fight. That fight is just absolutely brutal. I can say, challenge complete. This weapon, yes, it's cool. It's aesthetically pleasing. However, the moveset it has, specifically in the Ash of War, because of the gap closing it does, it leaves you vulnerable in positions I didn't think of when I initially set out to do this run. Mainly because it's a, it's a colossal weapon. So obviously you're going to be up close and personal the entire fight, but the majority of the time, especially in Radon, like Radon, you were just having to fight for openings. It, it almost felt never ending in the time it took you to attempt to find an opening. Like there wasn't many opportunities to attack. Maybe it was the DLC as a whole, because now that I'm thinking about it, things like Romina and Midra, they didn't give many opportunities to attack them or, or find their openings, rather. I will say the followers of Mikola fight, that fight was literally no problem. I think I two-shot it. There was no contest. The Ash of War really carried me through that fight, and I wish, I wish it would have happened with, like that with Milady. So, well, I guess I did do Midra for the first time, and it was, it was, it was okay. It was good. I don't know how Midra as a fight will go the remainder of more of my challenges for this DLC. I don't know. I think it was, I think it was literally just a moveset, and I, I think that was the biggest downside I had with this weapon is the, the colossal moveset attached to a gap closing sword. It just, it felt very awkward to use. And I guess that's where, what my main gripe is with this weapon. Like, yeah, it does okay poise damage overall, but I think where this weapon really shines, enemies that give you wide gaps to use the Ash of War, enemies that jump away from you and then give you just like Enough of an opening that way you can use the Ash of War and then the follow-up to do massive arcane damage to them. And I guess that's another downside of this thing. Because it's somber, you can't infuse it with a different Ash of War. You can't infuse it with Breezes or status effects or or etc. like that. So you really are locked in to this, this moveset and doing this with no statuses and everything. So it's, it's sort of prohibitive, I guess is the word I'll use it. And it's really restrictive in... The things you can do. I don't know. Overall, it's cool, but I don't know that it's going to be a go-to weapon for me. Um, so yeah, that's that's this challenge run done. I'm I'm fairly satisfied with how this run turned out. Um redone just redone things, I guess. Um Yeah, Redon did redone things. Bale did bail things. I guess it's to be expected that Bale and Radon are going to be the two hardest bosses in this DLC, huh? What else is new?